Hello and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, here in this section we're going to work this problem on the board which is a great way to make sure you understand what we're talking about. It's wordy but really there's, there's not that much here uh, that you don't already probably know. It says vinegar is an aqueous solution of acetic acid, acetic acid given by CH3COOH. Uh, uh, in fact, whenever I say this to myself, I say ch 3 q for some reason, it just rolls off the tongue. A 10 milliliter sample of vinegar requires 31.45 milliliters of potassium hydroxide, it gives the concentration 0 0.2560 molar uh, potassium hydroxide for titration. What is the molarity of the acetic acid in the vinegar? What is the molarity? When you're saying what is the molarity, you're asking yourself how many moles per liter do I have of acetic acid in my solution. So looking at the big picture, you're told, first of all, that just so you know, in case you already didn't, that vinegar, the stuff that you buy at the store, is just a solution of acid uh, in water. That particular acid is called acetic acid, and that acid is given by this, this guy here. So try to remember that. You'll probably have some problems in the future that deal with acetic acid. It's one of the most common acids we have because vinegar, you know, is so common. Um, but anyway, it's an acid just like anything else. You can neutralize it, you can titrate it, and so on. So basically what it says is I have 10 milliliters of vinegar in a beaker, um, and it requires so much of this base to titrate it. And I'm trying to find out what is the molarity, how strong of a concentration is my initial uh, vinegar that I have in that, in that 10 milliliter um, beaker. So the first thing you do when you do any kind of reaction is you need to write an equation. And in this case, you may have never seen an equation that involves this acid because it just depends on if you've been exposed to it or not. But anyway, you just write it down as usual. So you say CH3COOH, and that's an aqueous solution. And what are you adding it to? You're adding it to this base, potassium hydroxide. So KOH, aqueous solution. Now you have to try to figure out what do you think it's gonna form. Now I haven't told you this part yet, um, but you should know already from before that acids, they, they lend or they donate hydrogen ions, uh, H+. That's what acids are. That's the definition of an acid. We talked about that before. So if this is an acid and this is a base, where is the hydrogen coming from here? And this is something you wouldn't know ahead of time, so I'm just going to tell you. The hydrogen that comes off of this when you put it in solution is right here at the end. It's not this one here. This is tied up tightly. Um, bonded really tightly in there so it doesn't come off. So what happens is when you stick this in water, this CH3COO, this whole thing kind of splits off by itself and the H at the end splits off by itself. So this hydrogen is floating sort of 